Hey everyone, here is one of the important question from a ratio and proportion. The question here is, if 4 is to x is proportion to x is to 36, find the value of x. This is a really important question, can come for 3 mark. The, so how to solve this? So here we have to find out the value of x. So they have given that they are in proportion. So you can see that two columns are given here. This means it is in proportion. So what is proportion? Proportion means when two ratios are equal, we're going to call it as proportion. Now, how to solve this? We can use a formula that is product of mean is equal to product of extremes. Now, what is mean and what is extreme? Whenever we say two ratios are in proportion, we have mean and extreme. Mean means the one which you see at the center. So here x and x are mean. And the one which you see at the end, that is 4 and 36 are at the end, right? End of this given question, like in the in the proportion. They are called extremes. So the one which are at the corner at the end, they are called extremes. The one which are at the center, they are called mean. So x and x, they are mean. 4 and 36 are extreme. We're going to substitute in this formula. Product of means is equal to product of extreme. Product means multiplication. So we have to multiply mean here. So it will be x multiplied by x is equal to product of extreme. So it is 4 multiplied by 36. So x into x is x square is equal to 4 into 36 is 144. All right. Next. We have to find out only x value. It's x square is equal to 144. In that case, x will be equal to square root of 144. So if you have not learned what is the square root, I'm going to explain you another, like, another way of solving this. So here x will be equal to 12. Square root of 144 is 12. So the one who doesn't know what is square root, here what we have to find out is we have given x square is equal to 144 means you are multiplying same number two times to get 144 so what is that number because x square means x into x right it's the same number you are multiplying twice to get 144 so 12 into 12 is 144 okay that is how we got this so therefore x value will be equal to 12 I hope it's clear how we have done. Now, in case still you have a question how we got the square root, you just drop a comment below. I'll try to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching.